Hi, dear cricket fans. Welcome to Cricket Happenings. Uh, this is uh, Ram, your host, uh, with Cricket Happenings. Well, we are looking at the third day's play at Trent Bridge in Nottingham, uh, where uh, things are looking uh, pretty bleak for Pakistan right now because Pakistan are chasing a world record target of 435 to win the match and find themselves in serious trouble today at the end of the day after Andrew Stoll declared the innings close for England 262 for 9 declared. So that was an overall uh, uh, lead of. Uh, 435 and they have uh, notched up uh, 20 runs uh, of those uh, after notching up 20 runs of those uh, basically they are 15 for 3 uh, currently and another 420 runs required to win the match well uh, as far as the day's proceedings were concerned just putting it in a nutshell uh, Umar Gul uh, entertained a bit and actually uh, saved uh, Pakistan uh, from actually taking the I mean saved Pakistan from the follow on by actually um, uh, hitting uh, the highest score in the Pakistani first innings of and it was an entertaining 65 of 46 balls with eight fours and four sixes uh, he hit uh, three sixes of uh, Stephen Finn and he took 30 runs of four overs uh, from the bowling of Stephen Finn he was very severe on Stephen Finn he was cracking the ball to all parts of the field and he was just going into an absolute cameo not around 65 46 balls eight four eight fours and four sixes a wonderful knock from Umar goal and then Mohamed Asif was just staying there but Mohamed Asif uh, could only do that. He he eked out nothing of eight balls, and then he was run out by Morgan. And but uh, let me tell you, um, uh, Umar Gul was making batting look easy by really really clubbing the ball to all parts of the ground. And 182 all out Pakistan. So that was a huge lead for England. And well, uh, England started off in the bowling figures there. Anderson 22 over seven maidens, five for 54. Stuart Broad 17 overs, four maidens, one for 59. Stephen Finn, uh, 13 overs, 5 maidens, 3 for 50. And Graham Swan, 2 overs, 1 maiden, none for 12. England. As far as England's second innings were concerned, 182 all out Pakistan. So you can just imagine what would have been the lead. It's almost a close to 100. And, uh, it, was a, uh, it was close to 180 runs lead uh, for uh, England. And well, they went in. And well, the op once again, uh, as you know, it's a familiar story as far as. Uh, uh, Nottingham, uh, Trent Bridge in Nottingham is concerned uh, because there were 13, there were 14 wickets lost on this day. The other day it was 17, today there were 14 wickets gone. As far as England were concerned, Strauss and Cook took, um, uh, took strike and well, England had the, uh, uh, had, were in early trouble right away because Mohamed Ahmed got a ball from, uh, got a ball to uh, nip in, got the outside edge, come round Akmal Pouch the catch and Andrew Strauss was walking for a duck. Got come round Akmal Pouch, Mohamed Ahmed for a duck. Alistair Cook and Jonathan Dolly, but let me tell you, Amar and Asif were really take, making good use of the conditions that were there, cloudy conditions, and actually made them uh, pay for it. They were 18 for 2 before lunch when Alistair Cook was gone. Uh, this was a ball, this was uh, something uh, which was um, uh, something very funny happened. Actually, Alistair Cook slashed the ball hard. Uh, it actually uh, went to his brother Umran Akmal, let's slip, but uh, Umran Akmal couldn't latch on to that. In fact, he uh, he bobbed the ball and it was uh, Kamar Akmal who uh, dived full length and actually held on to that. So that was a bit comic there. But Alistair Cook was gone. Caught Kamar Akmal, bowled Mohamed Asif for 12 uh, with 1-4. Jonathan Fred and George, uh, uh, Kevin Peterson then after lunch uh, really steadied the innings with a 47 run stand uh, with uh, Trot playing some uh, very neat uh, drives and Peterson also in between uh, showing some good strokes. But that was it. Umar Gul came in and actually uh, uh, took three wickets after that. Uh, in fact, first it was, the, it was Peterson who was gone. Peterson got a ball from Umar Gul, uh, which actually nipped in, and it was a wonderful catch taken by Kamran Akmal behind the sticks because uh, the ball is really traveling. Because Peterson got an inside edge, and it's not easy when you get an inside edge and the keeper takes a catch. But Kamran Akmal um, uh, took a brilliant catch there, and Kevin Peterson was walking, caught behind the ball, Umar Gul for 22 and 60, uh, 65 for 3 became 66 for 4 with Jonathan Trott was castled by Umar Gul absolutely clean ball the ball keeping low and Jonathan Trott was gone clean ball Umar Gul of 26 with 5 fours. after that um, well Collingwood the first ball itself had an uh, early waft at the balling uh, of uh, Umar Gul uh, but he actually couldn't keep it down but the catch was grasped by uh, Kamran Akmal who took a lot of catches today but also grasped a lot and well, Peter, but Collingwood uh, uh, 
uh, did not, uh, I mean, he could not take advantage of that. Umar Gul took him and act, um, actually wrapped him on the back pads and that was gone. Calling with LBW bowl, Umar goes for one and the score was 72 for five. So England were really, really sinking. And then there was a stand between uh, Ian Morgan and Matthew Pryor. Uh, both of them took on the score to 98, but Ian Morgan then, uh, there, was, uh, there was a misunderstanding between Morgan and Pryor, uh, which uh, resulted in Morgan being run out uh, through a combination of Umar Ahmed, Kamran Akmal and Umar Akmal, and he was gone for 17 with three fours. After that, the lower order was the one who really gave stand to uh, Matt Pryor, and they were then from, from the score of 98 for six, the score moved on because Swan contributed uh, a lively 28 by hitting 1-4 and 1-6 of Canaria. At the other end, it was Matt Pryor who was really, really uh, playing on and was uh, playing well. I mean, he was looking out for the loose opportunity. He realized that he had a huge responsibility. He did it to a T. And uh, by the time uh, Graham Swan, after uh, making 28 of 35 balls, 4 fours and 1-6 was walking, uh, he was LBW bowled Danish Canaria uh, for uh, 28. After that, Stuart Broad gave him company, and in the in the in the in the company of Stuart Broad, well, um, uh, Matt Pryor was just reaching his 80s there, and Stuart Broad also entertained with scoring 24 of 29 balls, two fours and one six. Shoaib Malik was the one who actually took his wicket when Broad was caught by caught by Imran Farhat uh, for 24, and then also James Anderson was caught behind the bowling of Shoaib Malik for two. So Shoaib Malik got two wickets there. But Matt Pryor was still there, he was getting into his night, he realized that there he's running out of partners, Stephen Finn joined him, he realized to take the long handle after a long time, and Matt Pryor reached his third test century, in fact in his 90s, he clubbed um, uh, Danish Canaria over long on for a six, then one went over mid wicket for a six, two consecutive sixes, raising it to the 90s, then actually steadied, uh, steadied it a bit uh, by taking some singles and finally reached his third test century. Uh, he was gone, uh, making a wonderful century under the, under the. if you see the situation, it was a wonderful century uh, in, in the situation. And Matt Pryor uh, really held the innings together, may not out on 102, 136 balls, 7 fours and 2 six. And uh, Andrew Stoss called uh, everyone from the balcony, uh, called, the, uh, called Broad and uh, Finn to actually uh, come back. Finn was uh, not out on 9 of uh, uh, 50 balls with 2 fours. He gave some admirable support for... Um, in fact, um, uh, Matt Pryor to actually reach his century. So uh, that was uh, really good. Uh, that was very good, sensible batting by Stephen Finn, who gave him good support. And Matt Pryor was absolutely superb. And he got his third test century, 102 uh, with seven fours and two sixes. And well, after that, 262. At, as soon as uh, Pat Pryor reached his century, in fact, uh, Andrew Strauss, the England captain, applied the declaration, setting up a target of uh, 435 runs. Uh, for Pakistan in two uh, in two uh, in two days, uh, and also I would say uh, they had under 30 minutes to go uh, before close of play. As far as the bowling was concerned for Pakistan, Mohammad Amir 16 overs, three maidens, one for 35. Mohammad Asif 17 overs, one maiden, one for 56. Umar Gul 15 overs, two maidens, three for 41. Umar Amin five overs for 13. Danish Canaria 12 overs, one for 71 for Danish Canaria. Shoaib Malik uh, was uh, impressive. Uh, he, in fact, uh, he he got. Uh, uh, in fact, it was uh, Shoaib Malik after taking two wickets, uh, he took two for 31 uh, of his uh, uh, 10.3 overs. As far as Pakistan were concerned, Pakistan were in early trouble. James Anderson, as, uh, as I said, the cloud cover was hanging around 435 the target, 30 minutes to close of play. Uh, in fact, Pakistan had to survive it. Pakistan couldn't survive much because the ball was moving on. Anderson was getting prodigious swing. Stuart Broad was also nipping in and due to James Anderson, in fact, uh, Stuart Broad, in fact, Salman but uh, stroked the ball well. He got two early boundaries, but that was it. After that, Broad came in and actually picked up back-to-back uh, -back wickets. Uh, Salman but uh, was uh, gone. He tried to slash a ball into the slips, and Collingwood took a very good catch. The ball was really traveling, but Collingwood held on, and Salman but was gone. Caught Collingwood bowl Broad for eight uh, with two fours. Uh, Azhar Ali came in, and well, he couldn't last. He, he actually showed a full face of the bat. Uh, it looked like he was confident. But the next ball he couldn't survive as Broad actually wrapped him on the pad and as really uh, went for the UDR as the Unparadition Review System uh, in consultation with Imran Farhad. But it turned out, um, uh, it, it did not turn out in his favor as really was walking. LBW ball brought for Duck and they were 10 for 2. Umar Amin also had a walk to the pavilion at the score at 11. Uh, for three, when Umar Amin was adjured LBW bowled Anderson, they didn't go for the review, and that said, Anderson took one wicket. So, two wickets to Broad and one to Anderson, and uh, they were 11 for three. Uh, it was then the night watchman, Mohammad Amir, who actually survived uh, the last stages, and uh, well, that's it. After that, uh, it is uh, right, uh, right now.
at uh, close of play. It is Imran Farhat not out on six. Mohamed Amal was not out on not 15 for three. Uh, 420 runs still to get with seven wickets in hand for Pakistan on the fourth day. Anderson four overs three minutes one uh, one for one. Two at three overs no and two for 14. And uh, dear cricket fans, that ends my report. Uh, thanks for your company. Uh, this is Ram signing off. Thank.